brand new president and CEO. Merci, Jamie. Minister Algarbra, Councillor Grimes, thank you for joining us uh, to share this moment today. Madame Bertrand and other members of Via Rail's Board of Directors, as well as our special guests, thank you for being here today. As Jamie said, I've only just begun with Via Rail, and it's a great honor to be entrusted with the job of leading an organization that is so crucial to Canada on so many levels, and as such, at such a pivotal time. Via Rail not only moves people, but we link communities. We play a key role in the battle against the climate crisis. Je suis très fier de diriger une organisation qui joue un rôle crucial pour le Canada et à bien des égards, et ce, à un moment charnière. Via Rail ne se contente pas de déplacer les gens. Nous co connectons aussi les collectivités. Nous jouons un rôle clé dans la lutte contre la crise climatique. And we aspire to be a leader in accessibility and equity, diversity and inclusion. Because I'm new to VIA, I've been spending a lot of time getting to know the outstanding team from coast to coast, including the people who literally keep our trains on track. That's just the point. They actually keep the trains on track, but keep them running. That's why it's so great to welcome you to Via Rail's Toronto Maintenance Centre. It allows me to give a shout out to all the impressive team of people who run, service, and maintain our trains and provide the exceptional service for which Via Rail is known. Je peux en profiter pour souligner le travail de l'impressionnante équipe de personnes qui assurent les opérations, l'entretien, et la maintenance de nos trains et qui fournissent un service exceptionnel qui fait la renommée de Via Rail. Passengers rarely get to see our maintenance staff, but you should know that they are absolutely crucial to everything we do. They take pride in their work and we are proud of them. I know they've all been working hard to prepare for our new era and are keen to get going. In fact, there's been a huge amount of work done throughout the organization to bring us to this point. I would like to pay tribute to the Chief Business Transformation Office, Officer Bruno Cacciola, and all the members of the VIA team for their leadership and commitment to our modernization. We're in the middle of a far-reaching modernization program. These are exciting times for VIA Rail, and for everyone who loves traveling by train. Nous sommes au cœur d'un vaste programme de modernisation. Pour Via Rail et pour tous ceux qui aiment voyager en train, c'est un moment marquant. And our maintenance center in Toronto and Montreal are playing a central role. Here's why. We're in the process of rolling out our 32 beautiful train sets for the Quebec City Windsor corridor. You can see the new train set behind me. The first of them started carrying passengers last fall and are in the process of going into full commercial service. They are transforming the experience of, for our passengers. They are more comfortable with ergonomic seats, wider aisles, and improved luggage storage. We're proud to say that they're amongst the most accessible trains in the world. We are fiers to say that they are among the trains most accessible in the world. They're also more energy efficient with lower emissions. The arrival of modern, new equipment poses a happy challenge for us. It means we need a substantial upgrade to our two primary maintenance centers in Toronto and Montreal. It's a big job. Ma Moderne représente pour nous un heureux défi. Cela implique la mise à niveau substantielle de nos, nos deux principaux centres de maintenance à Toronto et à Montréal. Il s'agit d'un projet majeur. A huge portion of the former maintenance center here will be demolished and replaced with a new and improved building that will allow us to service these modern new trains. With new equipment, our maintenance, which is already exceptional, will be planned, 
proactive, and preventative. Our innovative vehicle equipment measurement system, the VEMS for short, has an early warning detection system. It ensures that any issues are dealt with swiftly, safely, and without prolonged downtime. And that is what's going to allow us to be more proactive on maintenance. The maintenance yard is truly being transformed with several critical infrastructure improvements to support the VIA of the future. It's a complicated project, and the work will be ongoing as we continue to service our existing trains as well as the new ones. When we put the project out for tender, we had a high demand and held a rigorous and open competition for the job. The winning bid for the Toronto project came from a GTA firm, Butcon Limited, based not too far from here in Concord. That means that the jobs and economic benefit of this important project will stay right here in the city where the project is being delivered. We expect the creation of about 475 jobs, local jobs, between now and the completion of the project. Nous prévoyons ainsi de créer jusqu'à 475 emplois locaux d'ici à l'achèvement du projet. We're happy that the Chief Executive Officer of Butcon Holdings Limited, Mark Butt, and President and CEO of Butcon Limited, Peter Di Gaetano, are with us today for the official groundbreaking. Thank you for coming today. Congratulations. We're looking forward to working with you, and I know that your team will do great work. The upgrade of our maintenance centers is a crucial element in our modernization plan. And we believe our new trains will encourage many more Canadians to rediscover VIA and get out of their cars. La mise à nouveau de nos centres de maintenance est un élément crucial de nos plans de modernisation. Et nous croyons que nos nouveaux trains inciteront de nombreux, nombreux Canadiens à redécouvrir VIA et délaisser leur voiture. Once you ride our new trains, I'm sure you'll agree that traveling by rail is the smarter way to move. Minister Algabra, we're very grateful that you and the Government of Canada share our vision. Grateful that you recognize the value and long-term benefit of passenger rail. By supporting these projects, you're making a wise investment in the future of transportation in Canada. Monsieur le ministre Algraba, nous sommes très reconnaissants que vous et le gouvernement canadien partagiez notre vision. Merci de reconnaître la valeur et les avantages à long terme du transport ferroviaire de passagers. En soutenant ces projets, vous faites un investissement judicieux dans l'avenir des transports au Canada. And you're sending a signal that passenger rail is not only the best way to travel, but it will play a crucial role in coping with the climate emergency. On behalf of Via Rail, thank you very much. We're entering a new golden age of passenger rail travel in Canada, and we can't wait to welcome Canadians aboard. Thank you, merci. And now, I'd like to call upon Canada's Minister of Transport, the Honor Honorable Omar Algabra, to say a few words. Minister. Uh, Mario, thank you very much. Um, I uh, had a chance to uh, welcome you first in private uh, uh, to your new role. Let me take this opportunity and publicly welcome you and say how uh, glad we are to have found uh, uh, a candidate like yourself to lead the organization at a very pivotal moment in its history. So thank you very much and welcome. Uh, I'm also pleased to be here uh, with the chair of the board, uh, Francois, good to see you. And I know there are other members of the board here. Uh, I want to thank you uh, and the other members of the board for your leadership, again, during a very pivotal moment of the history of VIA. As uh, Mario said, passenger rail is an important part of Canada's history. And VIA Rail has been an essential part of that story. No government has been as committed to passenger rail as ours. Between our investments to modernize via rail and our investments for the future, for the future with the high frequency rail project, we know how important these initiatives are for our country. They will reshape the reality of passenger rail service in Canada 
for generations to come. And modernizing via rail includes significant investment to replace their fleet in the Quebec City-Windsor corridor. For example, our government invested $1.5 billion in budget 2018 to replace the train fleet in this busy corridor. And today's event was made possible thanks to this funding. We also added $212 million in budget 2022 to ensure that VIA's maintenance centers in this corridor would have the capacity, tools, and infrastructure to support the existing and new fleets long into the future. So I'm proud that we are seeing the results of these investments today. Today, we break ground on the construction at VIA Rail's Toronto Maintenance Centre. This facility upgrade will ensure the new fleet is serviced and maintained to the highest level possible. The construction will also create good middle class jobs for Canadians here in Toronto for the next three years. This is a great example of our government's long-term commitment to supporting passenger rail. And with this centre, Via Rail is also demonstrating its commitment to the future as it continues to offer Canadians an important service. And I want to take this opportunity to thank all the employees at Via Rail for their incredible work over the last few years during a very difficult period that uh, started with COVID and the uh, lingering impact of COVID. There have been a lot of challenges, but I know and I hear about it every day. The dedication of VIA employees shines through every day, and it's an honor for me to be able to provide support and encouragement to continue their work. Thank you very much for being here, and have a great day.